just won tickets to the premiere of the new Quest Bicep movie about the handsome baker, Beauty and the Yeast. Ooh. My friends and I might even get to meet Quest Bicep in person. Oh no, disaster, disaster. It's only three tickets, but I've got four best friends. Four absolute BFFs. Oh, how do I choose? Oh, Stephanie absolutely adores Quest Bicep, but so does Mia. Emma, can't leave out Olivia. Maybe I can help. Wink Smiley? The game show host? That's right, and I'm here to play Who's Andrea's Best Friend? It's the game where teams test their knowledge of all things Andrea to win the title Andrea's Best Friends. Ready to play? Ready, ready, ready Wink! wink. First question, what's my favorite song? In this together! Let's see if you're correct! Question two, name my very favorite food. My cupcakes. <gasps> They're, um, one of my favorites. Oh, Andrea loves soft, fluffy crepes. Right. <laughs> What's the name of my block? Whoa, 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 I got this. Andrea's Alley. Yeah! Nailed it. <laughs> and what key do I sing the power of friendship? The key to our hearts. Huh? The key of C. <laughs> okay, it's time to solve a picture puzzle. Your clue is, it's also a kind of music. The answer is jazz. Correct! <laughs> jazz is a kind of music and the name of Andrea's bunny. Next question. Where was I born? Heart Lake City. Yes! <laughs> now, who was the first person she met in Heart Lake City? Her mother! Uh, that's not what we had, but technically, that is correct! <laughs> Andrea's sister is two years younger. Her third grade teacher! City Park Cafe! <laughs> the time we have, and the score is tied! That means our winners will be decided by... Andrea! No! No fair! I'm back to where I started! You can't make me choose! Oh, yes, we can! So, tell us, who are your best friends? Best friends. I can't choose! I can't! I can't! Andrea! I can't. Andrea! I can't. Andrea! Wake up! Huh? You'll never believe it! I won three tickets to the Quest Bicep movie premiere! What? You won? No, I won! Guess what? You'll never guess! You won three tickets to the Quest Bicep premiere. Good guess. We all won. At least now, none of us will have to decide who to bring. Hey! Anyone want to go to a movie premiere? there, Steph. I'll be off the phone in a minute and I can start autographing them. The kids at the Children's Hospital are going to be so excited to get these. Thanks for doing this. My pleasure. Oh, where were we? Oh, right. The new music video. Look how I'm trying my best, but I just don't have a really solid idea for it yet. I want it fresh, exciting, something to put a wiggle in your waddle. Did you hear that? Livy needs an idea. Between the five of us, there's got to be at least one awesome, out of this world, totally brilliant idea for a music video. I know, Livy as a pink liger. Half Livy, half tiger, and all wildcat. Or what if she's an alien with tap dancing tentacles? I got it. 
What if she goes totally 80s neon techno pop? We can be ourselves tonight. Dancing in our PJs, losing track of time. I love oh. your retro 80s feel, but I'm thinking an even more creative style. There's nowhere that I'd rather be. Dance like no one's watching, just you and me. Wait, I know! What do we like to do to Livy's music? Sing! Paint! Write! Homework! Yes, but it's also great workout music! Picture this. People are working out, everyone moving to Livy's song. We could dance forever, me and you. Uh, that's great! Uh, but wait! Livy's a superstar, right? So she needs glamour, lights, bling! We the B E A T, and when we're dancing, we are F R E E. So DJ, turn it up, and we can dance away, dance away, we get it right. Stellar! But what's a song without cute dancing animals? I never want tonight to end, cause there is nothing better than my best friends. Fantastic! That's it! That's the concept for my next video! Awesome! But, uh, which concept? All of them! I'll do each verse in a completely different style just like you did! It's brilliant! The award for best music video goes to... B-E-A-T! <laughs> This award really happened because of five incredible friends. I knew our ideas were good. But together, they're awesome. I never want this night to end. Cause there is nothing better than my best friends. treat with sardine sauce. Heck. Thanks, Stephanie. Just in time. What's the occasion? It's a party for Jewel. A party for your cat? Well, that explains the tuna treat. It's actually a trick to catch her off guard. A trick party? You know that Jewel absolutely hates to take a B-A-T-H, right? Do I? Last time you tried to trick her into one, you ended up in the emergency room. Oh, I was fine. My toenails all grew back. But this time, I'm prepared. Take a look. You're going to lure her into a bath with mechanical goldfish? Of course not. Jewel's way too smart for that. I just want her to think that's my plan. My real plan is to get her to sit on this throne. The second she does, it'll set off the lawn sprinklers. There, there, and there. Shoosh! Instant cat shower! Shh! Here she comes. Act natural. Surprise! Happy best cat in the world day, Jewel! Hooray! And look what I got you! It worked! She's going for it! <laughs> wow, she outsmarted you. No way, that's exactly what I expected her to do. You got her! Match point to Jewel. Nope, it's just as I planned. What happened to the sprinklers? I, I don't know. Oh, the bird bath's blocking the hose. <laughs> Looks like she did it again. Oh well, at least one of us got a shower. <laughs>
to book e hey there's mia huh, looks like she's fishing right next to a no fishing sign and there's the police busted not if i have anything to say about it stop the car andrea we're already stopped what are you going to do i don't know yet i've got to do something officer officer help uh, what's wrong miss uh what's wrong oh an emergency my friend needs help huh no not that way over there she just touched those plants aren't they poison ivy ah. those they're just daisies but if you're wrong, she could break out in a rash that might infect her brain and take away all her smarts. Andrea. Miss, I promise you, they're only daisies. Hey. Wait, is that a comet? I think it's heading right towards Earth. We're all doomed. Where? I don't see anything, miss. I think you're perfectly safe. It's a miracle. Earth is saved. Oh, officer, you've just made us the happiest girls in the world. We should take a photo to remember this miraculous moment. We need to get the right angle. Okay, everybody smile! Fine, now can I get back to work? Don't you want to see the picture? That is a good photo. Hey, is that somebody fishing? Ah! Wait! Look, are those ducks jaywalking? Andrea? Oh, hi, Officer Bill. Oh, Mia, it's you. Taking Larry out for his daily walk, I see. Come on, Larry. Oh, I forgot his castle. She was using a fishing pole to walk her pet crawfish? Who takes a crawfish for a walk? Mia. So, there's been no crime committed. Not unless you count overacting. <laughs> Teaching me and Jewel to do this, Miss Jean. You're doing a fine job. Looks like the pottery I used to make. Remember, don't press too hard. Oh, I'm not. I was talking to Jewel. But you're doing great too, Emma. And your design studio is so nice. <laughs> Emma! Grandma Jean! I got a role in the school play! Oh, congratulations, dear! Very cool! I am playing Madame Toulouse. Psychic medium who communicates with the other side. Ooh, sounds creepy. Grandma, I was hoping you could help me research the role. Don't you have a friend who was a medium? She does? You do? Oh, you mean Oda. When we were young, we both worked for a carnival. She was a medium, and I was a dancing pretzel. So, you've been a potter, pearl diver, ballerina, detective, lifeguard, and a pretzel? I like to keep busy. And you left out crocodile wrestler. <laughs> Put it back, Izzy. Ugh, you're no fun to prank. Don't be hard on him. Brothers and sisters pranking each other is one of the joys of growing up. Some joy? Izzy's pranks are always lame. So, what about helping me with my role? Can you, Grandma? Please? Well... Oda did teach me a few things. Okay, let's start by holding a seance right here, tonight. A real seance? With real ghosts? If we're lucky. Om, Om. Spirits, hear me. I'm sensing a presence nearing. Om. He's here. He's dressed in a black suit. Oh. <laughs> a black suit? Uh, could be blue. Spirit, give us a sign. <laughs> Do not let go. We must maintain contact, or it may anger the spirit. Nice spirit. Good spirit. No need to be angry. <laughs> Yep, 
that's just the way Oda did it in the carnival. Does that help your research, dear? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was a good prank. <laughs> <laughs> campers, that was a great canoe race. Now our next challenge will be the agility tree. Each of you will take a turn tackling all the obstacles on the tree. Whoever does it fastest wins our Maltese Rainbird trophy carved by the camp's very own founder, Bent Whistle J. Skillicorn. Ooh. All right, I'm game. I'll give it a try too. How about you, Emma? I don't know. That's a really ugly trophy. I think it'd keep me up at night. Oh, come on. It's just a fun way of inspiring us to do our best. But why does everything have to be a competition? I mean, can't we just be in the moment? And anyway, I don't need a trophy to be inspired. Look at Elvis. He's, he's positively majestic. I have to sketch this. What about the agility tree? I can draw that afterwards. Have a good time. And go! <laughs> Like that. Okay, nearly there. Just the last few tail feathers and. Ah! Wait! I didn't get all your feathers! Hey. Hey. Uh. No! Don't fly away! Please hold still! You're not making this easy! Yes, you did! You conquered the obstacles faster than anyone! Uh, I did? The winner is... Emma! I am? The trophy's yours! Yeah. It is? Congratulations! And, uh, good luck trying to get to sleep tonight. Uh, thanks? <laughs> Tomorrow is Nate's birthday party here, right? And that means I've got to find the ideal one-of-a-kind birthday gift. You mean the kind of thing that's going to leave Tanya's gift in the dust? Exactly. No, wait. This is about Nate, getting him the perfect gift. If anyone can do perfect, it's Stephanie. And knowing her, she has a plan. First, I've made charts of Nate's likes and dislikes, rating each on a scale of 1 to 10, while correlating his current interests, past hobbies, favorite songs, books he's checked out of the library, and shoe size. So with a 10% margin of error, I calculate the perfect gift for Nate is... a totally unique object that involves music and engineering. Music and engineering? Like a yodeling bridge? How about a magic kit? What's that got to do with music or engineering? Nothing. But yesterday I heard Nate talking about a magic show. And then the guy pulls away the sheet, and poof! She has leaks instead of feet. Poof! He seemed to really like it. And I think I saw a magic kit on sale at the supermarket. Makes no sense. Magic. Magic, magic, magic. Doesn't show up anywhere in my data. Oh, joy, there's Tanya. Hey, looks like she's interested in magic kits. I wonder if it's for Nate. Not if I get it for him first. Hi, Tanya. Bye, Tanya. Hey, can you help me? I need to find a magic kit. Magic kit? Whoa, those are really selling. Uh, they're in the hobby section in aisle right next to the Porky Piranha puppets. You know, mothers love those. Each Porky Piranha comes with a sewn-in moral lesson and a spare set of teeth. There's an interesting story behind those teeth. Ugh. But that's for another time. Anyway, we only have one magic kit left. Aisle 42. You're welcome. <laughs> Oopsie. Do be careful of 
of that wet floor. Too bad, so sad. Not! <sighs> open, 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 sure he'll like what you got him. I can't tell you how happy I am that you are here to witness how much Nate is going to love my perfectly unique gift. Whoa, a magic kit. It's got a wand, a hat, magic rings, and a whole bunch of tricks. Snap. Thanks, Jacob. Another magic kit. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Another magic kit. Well, that explains why there was only one left in the store. Wow, everybody bought the same unique gift. I can't believe all those people copied me. This one's from Stephanie. It's a build your own ukulele. Whoa! Unique music engineering? You and your charts did it again, Stephanie. This is awesome. I've been thinking about learning to play the uke, but I never said anything to anyone. How did you know? Just a lucky guess. You must be magical. <laughs> No matter how many times I've been on it, it's still my favorite. The engineering functionality of this ride is remarkable. Yeah, and it's cool to be high up. But this time, I'm going to make sure we're in car number one. Stephanie, the Ferris wheel's round. It doesn't matter which car you're in. I know. I just like being number one. Hey, there's Emma. Oh, um, hi. I am so glad you're here. Come and ride with us. Uh, me? R ride? W with you? Uh, on a ride? Right. On the Ferris wheel. You know, that big circly thing behind you? Oh, well, but uh, the cars only fit four, so there's no room for all of us in Gina Lobster Brigida. Oh, look! Giant pretzels! <laughs> Gotta have one! Mm -hmm. Yes! Say, did anyone else think Emma was acting strange, even for Emma? Yeah, what was up with that? Even stranger, she's back with two giant pretzels. She's never even been able to finish one. Just about my dinner time. You be okay for a few minutes, Jacob? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Don't eat too many hot dogs. A wet bird flies at midnight. Repeat, a wet bird flies at midnight. For a while. Anybody bring any popcorn? Now that's a great view. got crossed. Thank you for holding. Your call is important to us. Laundry problems got you down? No worries. 
Zobo is acting just like my grandparents' TV. Whacking it on top usually fixes it. Um, this may require a more delicate touch. Why are you writing in such a big hurry anyway? I'm checking Spice's top speed. She's incredible. She just beat her time around Heart Lake again. And she's taken three minutes off just this week. Three minutes in one week? Mia, how is that possible? Because Spice is so mega awesome. Measurement complete. Perimeter of Heart Lake is 2.6 miles around. Just as I thought. The official records say the lake should be 3.2. Mm, you mean Spice is not running faster? Afraid not. It means Heart Lake has gotten smaller. Smaller? But how? Good question. Seems we have a little mystery on our hands and a front page story for what's at heart. makes no sense. Given this year's heavy rainfall and lack of heat evaporation, Heart Lake should be bigger, not smaller. So where did the water go? Maybe the lake has a leak. Or really thirsty fish? Hmm, seems like our story isn't just about what's happening, but how it's happening. Hey, check this out. Tire tracks in the sand. From something big, like a truck. Why would a truck be on the lake shore? Unless the ducks are learning to drive, it shouldn't be. But there's one way to find out. <gasps> there! Huh? Whoa. Where's Emma? What is it? What do you see? Uh. Mr. Snibble! Uh, no! Uh, I'm not me. I'm my cousin Herbie. Mayor Buter's assistant. We should have known the mayor had something to do with this. Now we know how and who, but why. There's why. That sign. What sign? I don't see a sign. There's no sign. Uh uh. Mm -hmm. No way. That sign. Coming soon. The Buter parking lot and Dollar of Bass <laughs> Fishing Pier. Good old Mayor Butthair. Filling the lake with sand so there'd be more land for his pay parking lot. At least he exposed his little scheme in time, even if he did blame it all on Mr. Snivel. And now Snivel will have a beautiful lake to relax by while he's taking the sand out. <laughs> <laughs> We've been baking cupcakes for hours. Not even Zobo has enough energy to keep going. Need recharge fading fast. I'm a shot bot. Just another dozen, promise. Our friends will soon be sinking their fake vampire fangs into them. But we're out of candy eyeballs. Come on, Stephanie, take a break. Yeah, save some energy for the Halloween party. So glad I finished my costume. I'm way too tired to do it now. Well, maybe I can sit for a minute while the next batch bakes. Hmm. Look at that! There's a whole bunch of lights in the sky. Good thing I brought my telescope. Whoa. They look like stars. Oh, in the shape of a heart. But there's no heart-shaped constellation on the star map. We may have made a new scientific discovery. This is big! <gasps> and it's getting bigger! Look! They're not stars, they're spaceships! And they're coming this way! <sighs> okay, okay, it's important to keep our heads. Nobody panic. Where's Emma? <laughs> much for not panicking. Better check my cell radio to see if there's any news about it. Cell radio? It's a radio they used to use in the old days. And scientists at the Heart Lake Observatory are confirming that hostile aliens from another planet are landing in Heart Lake City. Now, here's a reminder to stay tuned for further developments. Stay tuned! 
room for further development. <sighs> I nearly lost it there. Warning! We've just received news that the aliens are covering the city with an invisible ray. Where? Where? I said it was invisible. But if you're outside, protect yourself by getting into your car immediately. <sighs> but make sure it has a roof. <laughs> are very sensitive to smells. Covering yourself with lots and lots of cinnamon will make you an easy target. Ah! The aliens are headed this way! The aliens appear to be attracted to the smells of vanilla, butter, sugar, and cocoa. The ingredients of cupcakes! This just in. Those are the ingredients of cupcakes. So, whatever you do, stay away from cupcakes. They're here already! Where next? I just picked up a fault in the Cake 35 unit. Stephanie! Stephanie! <gasps> the aliens! Where'd they go? What happened to the cell radio? Your telescope! Uh... That's on a cell phone. And why would I bring my telescope to make cupcakes? Poor Zobo. His battery conked out right after you did. <sighs> it was just a dream. Where's Emma? Here's Emma! Ah! Hmm? Well, I think it's a great costume. <laughs> <laughs>